Okay, watching my last um, Grant Ford Brooks versus Colin Zach's review thingy, I noticed that um, one thing the Brooks does better than the Colin Zach's is it doesn't fling the log apart. And that's probably the, the I mean, the, obviously that and the sticking are both down to geometry. You can see this has its concave pretty narrow at the top. And this is almost convex. It actually is convex. So that's why it flings this stuff apart. So um, we'll try the cutting style I learned watching a Wrangler Star video and see if that means actually the Brooks is more fun to chop with. So according to that Wrangler Star video, if you cut this squaring off, it's maybe easier. You're less likely to stick the thing in. You're more likely to get stuff just to come off and this thing won't fall over. At least that's my interpretation of what he was saying. So let's give it a try. The thing I don't like about cutting this way is, as you saw there, the axe is more likely to come out all the way through and out this way, not be stopped by the log, and you got to be careful that you control it. I mean, you always got to be careful, but it feels more likely that you're at risk of hitting yourself. Let's compare Collins X. So we'll use the same technique. Oops. Another thing about this, it seems to rely more on really good aim. Let's 
Let's do. Let's hit it a couple times with the other. Grand fours. Boy, I'll tell you, I don't think I like this cutting style. I'm gonna go back to the old way. Okay, so that was the Collins X with the pie slice approach. So I think my summary is, for me, using the Collins X or your normal uh, convex wedge and the old just standard pie salute splitting style feels safer easier and yeah I mean of course it's what I'm used to for what that's worth 